Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I am always on the hunt for great cards. These are not cards I'm hunting, however. These are cards I am sending out. This is what my postman has awaiting him when he visits my house today. And uh, there are over, uh, well over a hundred cards that I've sent out today. I took another handful of envelopes like this to uh, drop in a post box this morning when I dropped my son off for summer camp. So. Uh, a lot of cards are going out, well over a hundred uh, just today alone, and I have uh, quite a lot more to send out. You can see uh, Goody G is on the front there, put a post-it note over his address. His cards are going out, and many of you are getting cards sent to you today. I'll give you an update on the giveaway in just a moment inside. All right, so you saw what I have got going on in my mailbox today. My postman is going to be uh, hes going to be less than thrilled with me, I'm sure, having to carry that around. But I am mailing out cards like crazy and getting still getting your lists, which is great. And because lists are still coming in, new subscribers are coming onto the channel to uh, get in on this awesome giveaway that we are doing. I am extending the giveaway. That's right, I'm extending the giveaway. I am going. I was supposed to end tonight, Wednesday night, but I'm going to give it another day. The uh, big collection break giveaway is going to end on Thursday night, so you still have almost, I guess, about 36 hours or so to choose your cards. Go back and watch Monday's video. It's easy to spot. It says collection break giveaway right on the thumbnail. You can't miss it. Go back and check out that video. You'll be able to see all of the cards in this collection. There are still a lot of cards left in this collection. I've sent out well over 100 cards just today. I have a lot more to send out, and there's still a lot more here that uh, you can choose from. And I, I pulled out a little stack of cards from this collection to go through and just show you some, some of the highlights that still remain, because there's still a lot of great cards to be found in here. And I want to make sure that everybody has a chance at them. So I'll go through those real quick so you can see stuff is still in here that nobody has gotten yet. I haven't awarded these yet. A couple of really nice Pinnacle Zenith cards. You can see the gold accents, Clemens with the uh, gold bats behind him and Ricky Henderson with the uh, gold brick wall behind him. These are just really beautiful cards, uh, really cool stats on the backs of these. These were very high quality cards and uh, those have not gone out yet. Nobody has asked for this. Very cool Alex Ochoa insert. I know he's not a huge star. Not a lot of people may collect him, but this is a beautiful insert. It's a die cut in the shape of a ticket. has beautiful foil accents, and this gold foil is sort of brushed and, and raised. Really, really nice card there. Nobody has even asked for that one. I'll probably have to do a dice roll on some of these. Nobody, I don't think, has specifically asked for this uh, Wade Boggs insert card from Pacific. So a pretty nice Wade Boggs card when he's with the Yankees. A really nice blue foil on there. Quite attractive card. This has been a very popular card. Several people have asked for this fantastic Ticket Studs card. A beautiful card of Mike Piazza there. You can see it folds out. Why is my camera so zoomed in? Am I, uh, I don't really want to be zoomed in. I want to be zoomed out so people can see. I'm not sure what's going on there. Anyway, beautiful Ticket Studs card. And uh, several people have asked for that, so I'm going to have to do a dice roll on that. But there's still time for you to get in the running on that. As I've explained before, if uh, more than one person wants the same card, then uh, I just hang on to it for a little bit and wait until uh, see if more people want to get on that. And then I just roll a die to determine who's going to get that card. So it's all fair and, you know, I don't play any favorites or anything like that. Definitely going to have to roll a die on that one. This Nolan Ryan has also been very popular. 1983 Nolan Ryan, and it's uh, in, it's a little off center, but it's in beautiful shape. Really uh, quite a uh, nice card there. Going to have to roll a die for that one too. Very popular card. The Chipper Jones Rookie is still available. Have not sent that one out yet. Haven't had as much interest on that as I thought. Uh, probably about uh, maybe only two or three people have really uh, made a big request for this card. So you can still get in on the uh, on the uh, possibility of getting that one. This is another one that uh, I kind of skipped over when I went through it on the, uh, on the uh, program before when I was going through the whole uh, couple of binders. But this is an Aurora Sammy Sosa card. Really nice card and very unusual to find this. This was also made by Pacific, and uh, you don't see these a lot. Very cool card, uh, really interesting design. No other card really looks like these. Kind of a thick card too. That is one that I, I don't, I don't think anybody has directly asked for that yet. Though I had quite a few lists come in just this morning, so somebody may have asked for it there. This has been a very popular card. A lot of people have been asking for this one, so I'm going to have to do a dice roll on this too. 
get that so you can see the hologram of Robbie Alomar on there. Really uh, neat card. You can probably also see the reflection of my study behind it. But uh, really, really cool card. That one I'm going to have to roll a die for. And uh, this is the last uh, Gar Garcia Para insert. There was a page of Nomar Garcia Para inserts, and this is the uh, last one that is left. And I'm going to bring it even closer to the camera. You can see this is a beautiful card. It's a Bowman's Best Fusion card. It's a die cut, and it's a double-sided card. You got Miguel Tejada on the back. So two uh, fantastic players on the same card. Beautiful card, and it's an amazing shape, which is why I top-loaded this. I don't want anything to happen to that. Just a beautiful card, and uh, I'm going to have to roll a die for that one, too. But all of these cards, and all of these cards as well, are up for grabs. You know, even though many people may want some of these... If you still want it, you can get in on it, and uh, I'll roll a die and see who gets some of those uh, really, really nice cards. A lot of cards still left. Uh, you, you guys should uh, should not feel, if you haven't sent your list, or if you just sent your list, or if you're just finding out about this for the first time, you should not feel as though you do not have a chance to get in on it, because you do. And as I've told a, a couple of... Uh, I'm going to adjust the camera just a little bit here. As I've told a couple of... Uh, people who have sent their lists in, you know, even if, you know, you send a list in and I don't have, you know, that many cards from your list, I have spare cards in my own collection, you know, extra cards from this era of Hall of Famers. So you can always, you know, at the end of your list say, and uh, these three or four guys are my favorite players. If you have any extras of those, I would love to get those, you know, whoever that may be. And uh, you, may, you may get more cards than you think you might too. Uh, most people are getting uh, more than the usual two or three that uh, I send out. Most people are getting four or five or even six cards in their envelope. And uh, you saw a couple packages in my mailbox. I am sending out packages with uh, whole big uh, bunches of cards to people, some from this collection and some from my PC and some uh, other special material going in there as well. I just kind of do that uh, more or less at random. If it's somebody who I think, you know what, I really would like to send them a bunch of cards, then this gives me a great opportunity to do that. Also have some shout outs. Several new subscribers have come on and I really appreciate that. Thank you to Ed Kammer. Ed Kammer, thanks so much for your sub. Frankie Chan, want to thank you for your sub as well. Appreciate you coming on to the channel. Muttercism1391, thank you for your sub. Really appreciate that. Also want to thank Sports Card Show. What a great name for a channel, Sports Card Show. I don't know how you got that one, but uh, thanks so much for your sub. Sports Card Show has a great channel where he uh, he does rips and everything, but he does a lot of other cool stuff too. He does a ton of shout outs and, and really supports the community in that way, which is awesome to see. He also asks a lot of interesting questions and then sort of discusses uh, what he thinks, you know, is going on in the hobby. A couple of recent videos that I was just watching, he talks about, are case hits actually tracked? Are they totally random? Are they being tracked? Is, is, is really, uh, you know, a one of these hits per case or is it not? Very interesting question. Also, what will happen if... Fanatics buys Panini. What would happen then? And and that's an interesting question, too. So really interesting uh, channel, Sports Card Show. If you haven't been over there, you might want to check it out. It's uh, been really interesting for me to watch that channel, and I appreciate you subbing mine. Also want to give a shout out to JD Sports Cards, Inc. JD Sports Cards, Inc. Very new channel, just been active in the last couple of months. And over the last three days, they've posted three videos over there. So I think JD Sports Cards Inc. has decided they are getting serious about their YouTube channel, which is awesome. Doesn't have many subs. Um, always nice to encourage the new channels and uh, let them know that uh, we want them to succeed. So if you feel like going over there and checking out their content, giving them a like and a comment, letting them know that you want them to succeed, JD Sports Cards Inc. is the name of that channel. And thank you for your sub as well. Thank all of you for your subscription. That's the whole reason I'm doing this big collection break giveaway this week. And again, I've extended it. That is not ending until Thursday night. So you have plenty of time to get your lists into me. There are lots of cards left. I've sent out many, but there are even more that are still left in that collection. And I, I want to uh, send out as many as possible. Sent off to three different countries so far. 
last time I did one of these uh, collection break giveaways, I sent out to six different countries. I'd love to send out to seven or eight this time and get that get that uh, global reach even higher. You know how much I, I got my satellite network here that I expand throughout the entire galaxy is where the uh, Cardwolf network signal is going at this point. So uh, what am I doing today? I was going to do a pack battle today with Average Joe, but uh, we need to sync up what uh, we're going to open. We, we were trying to figure out which product we're going to do, and if we both have the same product and all of that, so we're going to take another day before we do that. You can look for that tomorrow. And uh, today I've got a rip for you, and it's a pretty good one. Panini Prism Football Hanger Box of this. Didn't think I'd be able to find one of these, but I did come up with one, and I'm pretty excited to get into it. These are tough... To get, you get a retail exclusive green prism, one per box, so that is pretty cool. You got also some hanger box exclusives of the red ice prisms, which is the main reason I wanted to get this format, because I think those red ice cards are, are quite nice. So uh, I'm going to open this up on the program today. You also can get rookie variation silver prisms out of here, though there's no guarantee of that. It's 20 cards per box. We're going to get Mr. Kershaw to help us get into this. i got to sharpen Mr. Kershaw. I've been uh, negligent in taking care of him. As always, please practice good knife safety and keep those blades out of the reach of uh, small children. Let's get into this prism hanger box and uh, see what we can pull out of here. This has been a uh, very tough product. I participated in some breaks, actually, uh, over the weekend, and you should see my break results. Uh, hopefully I'll get those, uh, and I might put those up this coming weekend. I don't usually do weekend episodes here on the uh, Cardwolf Network, but uh, if I get those breaks in by the end of the week, I will show you what I got. Uh, one was a uh, Chronicles Football Chronicles hobby box break, because those hobby boxes are going for crazy money, and there was no way I was ever going to buy one of those, so I Decided to go in on a break with that and did pretty well in terms of the uh, number of teams I got and the price I paid. I think I did really well. And I'll show you that when it comes in. And also did a break uh, for Prism as well because I was having such a hard time finding that. So we will uh, we will also see the results of uh, that break on the channel. So there's the big pack of cards. Nothing else in that box. And uh, we'll open this up and see how we do. It looks like... Uh, let me get into this. Here. Looks like we uh, have got a uh, good Falcons pull on the back there, and who knows what is in the middle. We got Jonu Smith starting us off. Jonu Smith, who was kind of like the forgotten man on the Patriots last year. He really, uh, they paid big money to get him over there. They really didn't do too much with him. I'm trying to find a nice angle on this so that you don't get too much reflection. Now you can actually see the card well. Jonu Smith starts us off, and then Rakia Sin from uh, the Colts there. Nice card. Corey Davis and uh, DJ Chark Jr. We'll get through some of these base cards. we got Tremaine Edmonds from the Bills. Good player there. And uh, Antonio Gates, who is uh, retired and has been retired for a while, but was a great receiver for the Chargers for many, many years. Alan Lazard, who is probably going to be the number one guy for Aaron Rodgers, with uh, the departure of Devontae Adams, Alan Lazard is probably going to be his guy. Um, should be interesting to see how the Packers do this year. Chris Jones, fantastic defensive uh, lineman for the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. And I honestly think Chris Jones, and I know a lot of you guys are going to disagree with me on this, but I think Chris Jones is probably as good as Aaron Donald. Discuss it in the comments. Disagree or agree? Let me know what you think about that. Justin Simmons from uh, the Broncos there. Flip it again for Dak Prescott. Prescott needs to have a really big year. I think uh, the Cowboys are kind of at the point where Jerry Jones is getting pretty frustrated with their lack of performance. Dak Prescott needs to have a big year. And uh, I think their coach may be on the hot seat this year if he doesn't. Antoine Winfield Jr. from the Buccaneers. TJ Watt. Defensive Player of the Year in the NFL right there, and well-deserved. He had an amazing season, and uh, we get some more base cards here. This is a rookie card, though, of Sam Ellinger for the Colts. I don't think he's going to get much playing time this year, though, because uh, they brought in Matty Ice to be uh, the top quarterback for the Colts, so we'll see if Ellinger has much playing time. Tyreek Hill, green parallel. That's a beautiful card there. I really like the uh, Christmassy feel of that card. Tyreek Hill, of course, no longer with the Chiefs. He went over to the Dolphins. 
And uh, I'll be curious to see how the Dolphins do. I don't know about this. It's also going to be a really big season for Tua to prove that he has the stuff to lead a team to the playoffs. I feel like uh, they've given him all the tools a quarterback could possibly want. Beautiful Tyreek Hill card, though. Really like that. It is not numbered. Just checking that. Put that in its own stack. Chuba Hubbard, nice rookie card of him as well. And uh, wow, look at this thing. Holy cow, look at that. That is one of those red cracked ice cards. And you can see why I wanted the hanger box so I could get some of these. That's J.J. Watt. We saw his brother T.J., and that's J.J. Watt. And uh, there he is with the Cardinals. Nice color match for the Cardinals, too, with that. Another cracked ice card. We got Thurman Thomas, the great Thurman Thomas from the Bills, Hall of Fame player there. That is really cool. And I know that Bills Mafia is going to be excited about that card. Beautiful card there. Avante Maddox from uh, the Eagles. Pretty nice card there. And our last one in that uh, red cracked ice action is another rookie card of Elijah Moore. Pretty good uh, receiver, I believe, for the... Uh, or is he a running back? I don't watch the Jets that much, so I'm actually not sure if Elijah Moore is a uh, receiver or running back. Not sure why I can't remember that. And you think they'd put that on the front of the cards. In the old days, you could never get away with not putting the player's position on the front of the cards. I mean, that that would be like crazy talk if Topps did that one year back in the old days. I'll have to double check that. Our last card is a Calvin Ridley fireworks insert. Pretty neat card there. Haven't seen that insert before. Uh, what is Elijah Moore? He is, uh, well, they don't even have it listed on the back. Panini. What is going on over there, Panini? Come on. He's a route runner, so that means he's a wide receiver. So anyway, that is our uh, big... Prism hanger box pull. Nothing really that spectacular in there. I gotta say, I'm a little bit disappointed with this uh, with this hanger. I mean, these red ice cards are beautiful. I have no uh, complaint about that. They're really quite nice. But uh, yeah, no big names there. The Tyree Kill was probably the best card, and uh, you know, I'm not. Uh, I like Tyree Kill, but I'm not a huge collector of him. So nothing goes in the wolf lair for my uh, PC out of this. But still, fun to get into. Hoping I can find more of that at retail. Wouldn't mind getting into another hanger box of that. Hope you guys enjoyed the rip today. And uh, once again, let me uh, encourage you to please uh, let me see your lists. Email me your lists. Email me your mailing address. And I will send you cards from that uh, big collection that uh, I am giving away here on the channel to celebrate 300 subs. Even if you are a brand new person coming to this channel for the first time, you can get involved in that. All you have to do is be a subscriber. This is not a contest. This is a giveaway. So all of my subscribers can get cards no matter where they live. That is the way I like to do things here on this channel. I like for everybody to uh, to get stuff when I am I'm doing things. So uh, even if you're a brand new subscriber, you can get involved in that. Just go back and watch Monday's video. Send me your list and I'll send you cards. It's that simple. I'll be back tomorrow uh, probably with a pack battle with uh, Average Joe. And uh, in the meantime, I wish you a good middle of the week. And as always, happy collecting.